If you've been paying attention to the news, you will see that there's a lot of Nike is failing, Nike is failing news going on around. Nike is no longer dominating the running market. The 60-year-old company is stumbling. This is the first real time that you're seeing Nike really struggle with competition. Do you have Nikes or you don't? 50% of people are wearing Hoka now. And I think I know who to blame for this. That's right, I'm looking at you Gen Z. So if you're a Gen Z, listen up. If you're not, still listen up because there are so many lessons that we can all learn from this. So what happened to Nike? Nike's a big giant. So why are they failing? In my opinion, there are seven reasons why everything that's happening with Nike is happening right now. And I'll use this video to explain each one of them. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get back to the video. First reason I'll say what's happening is happening is because of Nike's brand messaging. So we all know that Nike has a long-standing slogan of just do it. And it means, you know, follow your dreams, never give up and all of that. But right now, as a culture or a society, I don't think we're in that mindset anymore. The economy is hard. People are trying to survive. So all that hustle culture, we're not into that anymore. People are more into taking breaks, take care of your mental health, take care of yourself. And I feel like even Gen Z's in particular don't resonate with that slogan anymore. So I feel like as a result, you know, people are shifting away from that. Another reason would be the rise of TikTok. We all know that TikTok has been taken off and most Gen Z's are over there on TikTok. Most people are over there on TikTok as well. But also TikTok has TikTok shop. So you can just scroll and then shop right away on TikTok shop. And you can buy all the brands that people are promoting and everything. So there's no need for you to go start looking for Nike outside of TikTok as well. Which even Nike made it hard for themselves because apparently they changed their strategy. So Nike used to be, you know, a platform that sells to wholesalers who will sell on their behalf. But apparently their new CEO changed that and it was more of direct to consumer strategy where they sell straight to the consumers. But I don't think that direct to consumer model resonates with people as much because people want to have variety, especially Gen Z's. They want to find whatever they're looking for in different places that they're going to look for it. So imagine not, you know, having that convenience anymore and having to go directly in there. That's what I think it is. And then this one. I think this is the one actually. Perceived lack of innovation. We know that Nike has those, you know, classic, iconic, you know, sneakers that they always had. But I don't think Gen Z resonate with that. They don't know, you know, I don't think they even resonate with Jordan. Like they don't see those things. It doesn't mean much to them. So while Nike is holding on to that, Gen Zs are looking for something that either their peers are telling them or either influencers are telling them. So that's another point as well, changing influencer dynamics. Gen Zs trust influencers. They just do. They trust micro-influencers. They trust people around their circle. They trust their peers. So anything that they're looking for, they would rather go and buy everything that the influencers are wearing nowadays than go and buy something that they see as classic or whatever. So I think that's another point as well. And then there's the increased competition in athleisure. It's like everybody has an athleisure brand, celebrities, influencers. Most people now have athleisure brands. So people are directly buying from people that they watch or care about or people that they have parasocial relationships with. So if those people have their own brands where they have their own names or everything on that label, Gen Z's would rather wear that than wear something that's like a Nike or something like that because they want to wear things that, you know, their peers are wearing as well. And then finally, the shifting aspirational focus. Nike's marketing traditionally is centered around professional sports and not most people aspire to you know get into sports as well nowadays it's all about tech it's all about entrepreneurship it's all about other things other than sports so i think that's something that they can work on as well but let me know i want to hear your thoughts what do you think why do you think nike is brilliant and if i'm being honest i think nike will be here for a very long time 
it's one of those brands that will always be here maybe they won't be selling as much as they did but i feel like they will always be here because there's another generation apart from gen z who are loyal to nike so i think they will still be here for a very long time but failing will mean what their goals are because obviously as a business you want to make profit and as nike you know you want to show some things for investors as well so to them they are failing because they are not hitting those targets but maybe to us we're seeing that nike is still here people are still buying it so what are they talking about but anyway i want to hear what you think why do you think nike is failing and do you wear nike do you own anything that's in nike what do you think let me see you in the comments Once again, thank you for watching and thank you all to the commenters and the subscribers.